Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Our first edition of Coffee and Conversation in the year 2022. Let me invite you to pick up your copy of God's Word. Turn with me, if you will, over to the book of Joshua. Today we'll be in Joshua chapter 17. And I want us to look at verse number 13 as our text verse of Scripture. Notice what the Bible says here. Yet it came to pass, when the children of Israel were waxing strong, that they put the Canaanites to tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And friend, I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word. There's just not a better place to find a good ray of hope than in the Word of God. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have a wonderful encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. My goodness, what better way to start a new day? Fresh coffee and getting right on into the Word of God. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a thought that uh, I've titled God's Plan for Your Victory. God's Plan for Your Victory. Now, if you look at the passage of Scripture that I read in your hearing, you'll find that the children of Israel did not utterly destroy or drive out the Canaanites. And for that reason, my friend, they did not have ultimate victory. As this new year begins, God wants for you to have an ultimate victory in your life. He has a perfect plan for your life. God's plan for the children of Israel was total occupation. In fact, God told Joshua and the children of Israel to take the land from border to border, from sea to sea to take it, that it was to be theirs. Every grain of sand on the seashores were to be taken. Uh, there were Canaanites, but God said, drive them out from the land in Numbers 22, 6. And likewise, God has planned uh, for your victory in this life. Now, let me ask you something, friend. Are you living in the victory that God's given you? Are you living in the victory that you have over the world, the victory that you have over the flesh, the victory that you have over the devil? Friend, the Bible says, and ye shall receive power. After, after that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And we are possessive of the power of God because God has taken up residence in our mortal beings. And the victory is ours. We can have victory over the world. We can have victory over the flesh. And we can have victory over the devil. Why? Because Jesus did it. Amen? And he, because he did it, we too can do it by relying upon his power. And that's God's plan for your life, for you to overcome the world, overcome the flesh, overcome the devil. In fact, in 1 Corinthians 15, 57, the Bible makes it very clear, but thanks be unto God who gives us the victory. But then uh, Paul tells us how we're given the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The great American general Douglas MacArthur said, in war, there is no substitute for victory. And friend, we're in a spiritual warfare and there is no substitute for victory. We're at war and there's no substitute for our victory. There is an alternative to victory, and that is defeat. But there is no substitute, MacArthur said, for victory. My friend, God has promised us the victory, but we must be obedient to him and take hold of that victory. The victory is ours for the taking. Will you win that victory in 2022? Look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith, and start singing, O oh, victory, in Jesus, my Savior, forever. Pray with me. 
Heavenly Father, as we begin this brand new year, certainly we would ask that uh, you be very present in our lives. And may we, re we rely upon Jesus to provide victory over the world, victory over the flesh, and victory over the devil. Because whenever we rely on him, it's then that we can go ahead and sing, O oh, victory in Jesus. Bless the one that may need to hear this most and use it for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, let me encourage you to be the Bible that some read. Your life could be that only Bible that they'll see or hear from. So let others see and hear Jesus in what you say and in what you do in this brand new year. God bless you, and you have a wonderful day.